Hello, chill ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye, and welcome back to more surgery games! You hardly thought I was gonna stop after the last ones. You can't stop the world-renowned Jacksepticeye, Dr. Jack, that is. Um, hey Susie, you're back again. You're going slightly grey. Susie's going slightly grey, she's got like wrinkles around her eyes and her nose now. Maybe she's getting older. I have no idea what order these games go in either. I don't know if this is a, is a newer one, an older one, which ones come first, which come second. But today, we're doing epilepsy surgery, which I have never actually seen anything got to do with epilepsy surgery before. Okay, warning. This game contains graphic depictions of surgery. It doesn't matter. We are expert surgeons at this point. It's time to strap on your big boy balls, like I said before. It's time to get in. Look at this cool motherfucker. With the glasses just hanging down. You're, you're awesome. Meet Marie. Marie has epilepsy, which is causing her to go into seizures under certain circumstances. She has tried different treatments to stop the seizures, but unfortunately, none have been effective. Nor have the symptoms diminished over time, as it is sometimes the cause of chronic diseases. Surgery is her last treatment option. However, considering her background, we should first perform an EEG to see if Marie is fit for surgery. EEG. Electro... Uh, electro Easter egg. <laughs> I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> okay, doctor. Let's examine Marie's brain with electro nephelogram. The EG room will be one of these three rooms. Brain. What? Please concentrate, doctor. Susie, fuck you. Marie's brain. I picked brain because I thought that that was what it was going to be. Also, I had no idea that there was actually surgery for epilepsy because you always hear of people like having epilepsy and there being no cure or anything like that. So I, I didn't know there was actually a surgery to help it, so that's actually pretty cool. Patient, epilepsy. Is that right? Epilepsy? I mean, yeah! I, I'm a doctor, shut up! Please select the electrodes from the table. <gasps> Are we gonna shock you? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm just sticking these anywhere, Marie. I don't, I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> Good work, doctor. Thank you, Susie! You're the best! Scanning facelis up anti- that's not even English! That's French! Oot oot tristique! It's probably not French. Here are the EEG results. Test every electro to identify one, producing the highest frequency wave. Okay. Good god! That was- that was like really loud! <laughs> now we head to the operation room. It should be one of these three rooms. Got it right! Nailed it! Woo! We are beginning the intravenous anesthetic. Please select the syringe from the table. Got it. Oh, it's time to inject you. Very good, doctor. Select the anesthetic bottle. Here we go. Here we go. We're actually just testing you for worms. <laughs> ah! The noise it makes. And that was a gigantic hole in your arm. Oh, it's time for your arm to go numb. You just, you just pick it up and flop it down. It's like, oh, is your arm numb yet? Yep. Yeah. It works perfectly. First, we need to cut Marie's hair. No! She's been growing that since birth. It's beautiful hair. Can I cut your face with the saw? Uh, scissors. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Jack, a barber at the same time. Actually, that looks kind of cute. You look very nice with little Bob. We will need to shave off the remaining hair. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> it's time to shave your entire head. What do I do? Oh, shake the can. Okay, got it. I'm, sh I'm shaking the shit out of it. There we go. Now, sh shave that head, yo. Oh, no, Marie. I'm sorry. I wanted you to be nice. I wanted to be nice to you, and I thought me and you were going to be besties after this. You were going to hate me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Also, that was far too much hair to be able to cut with a razor. I should know. I've tried it. <laughs> yeah. 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 This reminds me of my fucking leg waxing again. <laughs> You're just gonna leave her ear like that? <laughs> Cotton. Here we go. <laughs> Imagine that, you forgot her ear was there and you just cut the whole thing off. You. Then we'd have to perform ear surgery again. Very good, doctor. Now we're ready to apply antiseptic. No! My arch nemesis! The antiseptic! Uh, we'll use the antiseptic to sterilize the area on the scalp, which will be performing the procedure. Please first pick up the tongs from the table. Got it? Oh! Is this where I get to paint your head again? Yay! Paint, paint. I dipped it! Dip, dip, potato chip. Nice! It's because you didn't have any hair anymore, so I thought I'd draw it back on. <laughs> right, now please pick up the marker. Do you, oh, you want an autograph? I see how it is. Everybody, <laughs> everybody wants one. Oh no. Oh. 
Okay, the scalpel. I thought we were going to use the saw. Okay, hold on to your giblets. Oh! Now please pick up the drill. Okay. Um, this is my woodwork project. This is my uh for my leaving cert for leaving school. My woodwork project is a human skull. Oh no! Oh no! It's okay. Man up! Don't be afraid out there. We're just we're putting in um new satellites into her head so she can pick up radio while she's out in the move. Good work. Now please up. Uh, pick up the surgical saw. Oh no! No! Oh my god! I'm still amazed that people survive this. That you can cut out a chunk of someone's head like that and it grows back. Well, it doesn't grow back, but it like reseals and the person's alive while you're looking in at their brain. Oh god. Oh, well, my whole face is feeling weird. We don't need the scalpel again. Please pick up the scalpel from the table. Hey! Oh no! Stop cutting into their brain! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh! Oh wait, that's not the brain. It's just a layer around the brain. I knew that, expert doctor. <laughs> I was just trying to see if you guys knew. Very good, doctor. The brain is now visible. Really? Had no fucking idea. Now we must check the area of the brain to pinpoint exactly where the seizures are coming from. Please pick up the electrode grid from the table. There we go. What the hell do I do? Select the tweezers from the table. Oh, I'm just gonna start pinching. I have to pick up- oh Christ! Do so I have to find the one that has the most noise? There we go! Yeah! I did it! That's where it is! Take that out! Remove that shit! We've located the area making the strongest feedback. Removing the section of the brain will reduce Marie's seizures. Really? Now we can detach that piece of brain! You're not cutting up sushi! <laughs> <laughs> I just cut out a square brain! Holy fuck! Are you serious right now? The Jura... The what? Pick up the tongs. Oh. Okay. And that's it? You just leave somebody with a hole in their brain? That is not good! Oh my god. Oh no. No. Humans are weird. Surgery is weird. This is weirding me out. Oh, all the weird. My, no, oh, I'm all tingly. Oh, I didn't know that that's what you actually did. Now select the drill. What the fuck are we doing now? Are we giving you like a design? Small holes. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm a human mechanic. I'm trying to put screws in her head. Is this good? Did I, did I do well? <laughs> Surgical plates. Uh, this is like putting Robocop together. I mean, sure, we got rid of your seizures, but now you're a cyborg. Uh, the screwdriver. <laughs> Please pick up the screws. This is just does not feel right. This does not feel normal. I'm just screwing actual screws into their head. It's like I'm putting together IKEA furniture. <laughs> Please pick up the tongs. Okay. You're not the same anymore, Marie! Please pick up the needle, got it, the thread. Why did I need staples? There were staples on the table, but I never used them. Why? Come on! I want to staple you together, like a present. There you go, all gift wrapped! Oh, here we go, now pick up the stapler. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> She's not a stationary project! <laughs> oh my god! You do, I, I'm surprised you're smiling after all of that. I wouldn't be. We got rid of your hair. You're half metal, half human. But hey, at least you won't have any more seizures. Yay! Marie is all fixed. That was all over the place. Seriously! It's so weird that you think, you think about surgery and you think about it being like a delicate procedure. Like, oh, you have to go to school for many, many years and you have to have really steady hands to do surgical work. And then you just see them stapling shit together, drilling holes in your head. And like, it's not even like medical drills or anything. It looks like a fucking, what, what are they called? DeWalt? Or something like the big yellow drills that you, just, that you screw in boards or shelves with. Oh man. But anyway. Bree's all fixed. What are we doing next? Should we stay going in the same vein? Susie, how are you? Did you bring me another victim? I mean patient. I'm a good doctor. I'm like one of those doctors you find down a back alley. He's like, have you got 20 bucks? 
yeah, I'll remove your spleen. <laughs> I was like, you open up my jacket and there's like a black market full of organs. <laughs> okay, who are we? let's let's try and figure out her name. Her name's gonna be Annabelle or something. Her eyes do not match. So this is brain surgery. I don't know what brain surgery is. I'd imagine there's a very specific term for it. Just not just brain surgery. It's like saying body surgery. It's like what part of the body? Okay, warning! Do not try this at home! Well no fucking shit! Leah! It's not even close to Annabelle, but you've got green emerald eyes. She's got the septic eyes! I like her already! Look at Susie like, here you go doctor. Another victim, another cadaver. Meet Leah, she's suffering from an aneurysm in her brain. Oh Jesus. One of the blood vessels in the center of her brain is filling with blood. This causes headaches and double vision. We found the exact spot where the aneurysm is located, so let's operate immediately. Okay. <laughs> Need to perform the procedure promptly, patient in the operation room. Of course, the brain room. Uh, let's see, we, we'll do this straight away. I don't even need to figure out what's going on anymore. I am an expert doctor. I've done this a million times, Susie. There's no point telling me anymore. Why is the frame rate in this one shit? Good work, doctor. There we go, all numb as fuck. Ah, she's sleeping. Good night. Leah, I remembered her name. I was gonna say Annabelle. We must start by cutting the patient's hair. Oh, not again! This should just be called haircut now, not surgery now. Um, dissector? Oh, God. Surgical plates? <laughs> this is not good. Ah, uh, select the scissors. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Woo! You got the whole Skrillex thing going on right now. <laughs> that actually suits you. Except, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to shave your entire head now. Just like... Marie. I keep forgetting my patient's names already. Shake, shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. You shake the fucking thing. There, there we go, there we go. Game just does not register me. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, I can shave your legs as well if you want. Or wax them, I'm good at that now. That's my new thing. Come on, come on, follow, follow the mouse. There, there you go. Now you look like a judge. <laughs> Pick up the razor from the table, got it. I know how to shave a girl's head. It's not all I know how to shave. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, up top! High five! Shut! I can't be high fiving right now. Are you crazy? I'm operating. Well, not right now. Right now, I'm cutting someone's hair. I'm shaving someone's head. I know you came in for uh for a little trim, but I decided to do a blade zero all over. I must sterilize. Uh, tongs, cotton ball, iodine solution. Paint your head. There you go. <laughs> she looks like a crash test dummy. <laughs> Pick up the marker from the table. Got it. I don't even know what the hell I'm drawing now. Um, okay, I'm drawing a box. It's a box. It's a box. Uh, TV. One word. Uh, house of cards. Got it. Nailed it. Please select the scalpel from the table. This is where shit gets weird and icky. Oh, God. I should not have had Burger King before this. Oh, we're cutting again. Oh, I bet it smells. I wonder what brain smells like. Or skull smells like. Oh, God. Now I must pick up the drill from the table. Again. Here we go. Oh, there's bits of skull flying out this time. I forgot that that would happen. Oh, do not inhale bones. All that dust flying up off the drilling. Do not inhale that. Here we go. I wonder if I could sell her bones. On a black market. Like, crush it into powder and get somebody to sniff it. Sell it as an aphrodisiac. Good, now pick up the surgical saw from the table. Got it. It's time to it's time to cut a hole in your head. There we go. Yes. It's just like Surgeon Simulator. You get, like, the drill in that for the brain surgery. Except I killed all those patients. I'm not going to kill you, though. I'm just going to mess you up a small bit. It's like a jigsaw. Put it back together. That's a perfect straight line as well. That's very impressive. You have like 14 layers to cut through. You're like a fucking onion. Now select the retractor from the table. Got it. Oh! Can you. Can you do that? I thought the brain was all like one big blob. I did not know you could pull the little wiggly worm sections apart. This game is bullshit me. Oh! Ah! Oh. Dissector. Got it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! That's my brain! Stop that! Well, it's not my brain, it's her brain. Oh, God. Here we go. The frame rate in this one is shit for some reason. Now we must close the incision. 
How? What? You're leaving that inside her head? Leah, I'm sorry! I did not know that I... They, they did not prep me for this! Jesus, the fucking speed of this! This is like sewing together a jumper! It's amazing! My, my, my skills are lost! On surgery, I should just open up a quilting company! Select the drill from the table, of course. Because I have to put you together like a transformer. Transformers! Robots in ER! Got it! Got it! There we go, perfect! If they're a little off as well, the legs won't go on this table. Perfect! Now a surgical plate! Okay, those look weird. These look like things that you put on the back of your TV to stick it to the wall! <laughs> uh, screwdriver, and then screws. There we go! Come all in! There you go! Ah, oh, I would not feel good about that! If you knew what went on during your surgery like this, I'd feel so weird, like... I know it's saving a life, and it's a really good thing to be doing and everything, but I'd feel so weird coming out of a surgery like that, knowing that there's metal plates in my head. I'd feel like I'm not 100%, and that I'd be afraid to do anything. Oh god, I only have a minute and 40 seconds left. I'm doing too much talking. <laughs> Normally I have these surgeries done in no time. Okay, here we go. Perfect! Like Superman, stitching you back up together. This is how I fixed my teddy bear that time. Today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic! Ah, oh, now I don't get to staple you together. Come on, it was fun stapling the other person together. Go, go, go! All done. Yeah, bandage. Are you happy? Look at those septic eyes. Amazing. You're all fixed. Are you happy? Are you proud? Are you guys proud of me? I'm a great doctor. Yeah! Leah is fixed. Hooray! Have any of you guys have your, had your appendix removed? I n I haven't. I still have my appendix. For whatever the hell it does. Nobody knows what it does. Apparently it's something got to do with seeds. From when we were Neanderthals, like... Oonga Boonga... Haka Haka... Clubs... Uh... Saber Tooth Tigers. I don't know! But I still have my appendix. Hopefully it doesn't rupture and explode in me someday. And hopefully I don't have to get it removed. Because I do not want to go into surgery. Where are they with female today? Meet Tara. Tara was brought to the hospital because of a severe stomach pain. Stomach ache. She may have appendicitis, which is possibly a life-threatening condition. You need to examine her, and depending on your diagnosis, we may need to take her to the operating room. Nah, she's fine. She's grand. Look at her. Sure, she's got her whole life ahead of her. Oh, nice belly button. We will first check if the patient has experienced pain of information in the appendix. Appendicitis is what it's called. Um, oh. Oh, no, the imagery is just all wrong. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Belly button, tap, tap. Tap, tap. I am not putting the fingers any lower. For all you people wondering, what the f what do we do? Apply some pressure to the area where the appendix is located. It's like here, isn't it? Yeah, fucking nailed it. She definitely seems to be in a lot of pain. This is a possible sign of appendicitis. Let's do a blood test to confirm. Okay, tourniquet. It? Oh, here it is. Here we go. Strap on your seat belts. Fasten them tightly. If in case of emergency or an airplane crash, make sure that you are sitting in your seat with your seat belt securely fastened. Now tap the forearm. Tappy tappy. Tappy tappy. I'm good at my fingers. <laughs> uh, needle. No? Let's disinfect the area. Oh, go. What? Select the tongs. Jack, fucking read the thing. Sorry. I'm trying to get ahead of myself. Because I, I think I'm an expert doctor at this stage, but apparently I'm not. Here we go. You're all fixed. There you go. All disinfected. Uh. There he is, clean, pick up the needle. Okay, now we get the needle. Oh, no. Here we go. Take all that blood. Yay! It's like cherry wine. Now we have a sample, take out the needle, got it. Out you come. Hey, it's not bleeding anymore. Apply a band aid. Ah, uh, did you get a boo boo? There you go. There's a lot more, there's a lot worse coming. Because they wouldn't bring me in if you didn't actually have appendicitis. Wouldn't it be cool if you started this and she didn't have appendicitis every time? And it would just turn around now and say, Oh, her bloods are fine. And end the surgery. Now examine the patient's blood. Oh, this is a long one as well. Uh, no more than eight white blood cells should be visible in the microscope. Please check the white blood cell count. Tell me if it is normal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is a lot. Too high. I agree, Doctor. The abnormally high white blood cell count indicates that there's a very high probability that she is suffering from appendicitis. Got it! It's time to cut this bitch open! Since there's a high probability... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I like the way this whole place is sterilized already. Susie, you're doing good work! Ooh, 
split you open like a turkey. It's time for Christmas dinner, boys. Very good. Now pick up the retractors. Super speedy surgery this time. Watch this. We are going to be lickety split. Ah, uh, scalpel. Got it. Got it. Cut this. Cut this open. Cut this open. She's gonna die. Quickly. I fucking told ya. The incision has caused the patient to bleed. Quickly soak up the blood. Cotton ball. Ah, uh, piece of cloth. Here we go. Here we go. Susie, you should be doing this. You're my fucking nurse. Here we go. Dry it all up. Dry it all up. This thing is getting very covered in blood. Here we go. Ah, uh, caught her eyes. Spadoosh! There, you're fine. There's nothing wrong with you. Great, bleeding has stopped. Now, uh, scalpel to continue surgery. Got it. Super speedy surgery. Super lickety split. That was not an incision. You just stabbed her. Pick up the scissors. Got it. It's time to cut this bitch open. Rock, paper, scissors. I choose scissors. You die. Appendix surgery time. Why? Why? Shouldn't that have just folded in on itself? What was the point of the retractors in the first place? It was just uh, gonna stay open. Those are some sexy abs you got there. Please pick up the scissors. Got it. <laughs> what the fuck? You just jimmy jammed that in there and split it all open. Grab another pair of retractors. Oh my god. What the hell am I doing? Oh, okay. We're getting rid of these ones. Thought we were just putting retractors all over the place. You have so many layers! You need to carefully when cutting the layer directly underlie the intestines. If not carefully cut, you can puncture. Oh, yeah, I could puncture her bowels. Oh, nobody wants that. No, those are... What? Please pick up the pair of tweezers. I thought that was a scissors. Oh, God. Grab another pair of tweezers, doctor. Got it. I'm... I'd have to be a fucking octopus to do this. Seven million arms all coming down, putting all these things in. Take the scissors and cut small. Got it. Do not cut her bowels. I don't want the smell of shit everywhere. Oh. 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 Ho, ho, ho. Hello there, Mr. Appendix. Oh, I'm very good at my fingers in this surgery, apparently. <laughs> oh, is that the appendix? What is that? Grab the intestine and pull it out. What the fuck? Oh, no! That's what your appendix looks like? It's just a little dangle dangle? Weird, I thought it was bigger than that. We need to operate the patient's appendix. Remove, grab the tweezers, doctor. I have so many tweezers, it's like a beauty salon in here today. Cutting hair, tweezing eyebrows, we are the best! Uh, more tweezers? Clamp them at the base. Cause I'm all about that base, about that base. No appendix! Grab the pair of scissors and tissue removes them with the tweezers. Wait, what? Grab a pair of scissors, got it. Snip, snip, potato chip. Close the wound, pick up the needle. Okay. You didn't remove the appendix, it's still there. I can still see it. It's like a little wiggle worm. Nice work, Doctor. Now remove the tweezers and clamp. Okay. Do we snip this? Not the scalpel. Oh, okay. I thought you were just gonna leave it hanging. You never leave me hanging. Not in a high five, not in an appendix surgery, not anything. Suture back up the rest of it. There you go. There you go. Ah, oh, you're gonna make a lovely blanket. Yes! Perfect! Oh god, there's so many things to do! Why do you have so many layers? Why do you have so much intestine? Why do you have an appendix in the first place? We don't use it. Now just stitch all that back up together. Perfect. Just get a stapler. Just get a big cauterizer and Pick up the needle, doctor. I got it. I'm just gonna sew you all back together in one. There we go. Perfect. I'm a good doctor. I save time. Not one layer by one layer. Just stitch them all back up together. You're perfect. So there's not a thing wrong with you. Uh, now put a patch on it and we're done. Yeah! I fixed you! I honestly can't remember your name. We had... We had Marie, we had Leah, and Tara! Tara, I gotcha! I fixed your appendix! The appendix is no more! You are free from that appendix! Now go off! And... I don't know what you can do without an appendix. Same things as normal? I made three mistakes. That is not good. But as long as you're happy and you have no more appendix, the surgery went well. Come on, that's it for this video on tree surgeries. I just, I, it's fun to do three at a time. I know these were slightly longer and this video is probably going to be slightly longer. Sorry. I, I didn't know they were going to be that long. But I feel it's only right to do a few of them per episode. Because if you just do one surgery per video, like you'd be doing them forever. And they just go on for all the time. And you just be spamming them all over the place. So I like to do a few at once because that's the kind of doctor I am. I just bounce from surgery to surgery. I'm an expert. Doctor, magician, person. You see how I made that appendix disappear? Now you see it? Now you don't. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face like a boss and high fives all round. But thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes. Oh, 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 I'm feeling weird. Oh, 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 o
say, and not just to do it. Oh, I am exhausted. That was a lot of commentating, a lot of surgery. The real doctors don't have to do that. Real doctors are just, hey nurse, give me a fucking scalpel. Stat.